What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Prospect Boy, also known as Brad H. Checking back in with y'all again. Um, in this video here, I want to talk about um, personal responsibility um, and how we as a people need to start taking responsibility for our mistakes. Um, I'm sitting here watching the football game right now. Uh, preseason, my Dallas Cowboys are playing the Oakland Raiders right now. Um, just trying to get a feel for what Dallas is going to have this year. We don't have T.O. anymore. Um, me personally, I'm kind of happy he is gone, but I don't know. Maybe I need to rethink that after um, Dallas's um, first series. But uh, also, Michael Vick got signed by the uh, the Eagles today. Um, I've never been a big fan of Michael Vick um, as a player, but I will say that I'm I'm happy that um, he finally uh, got with a team because, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody knows the Michael Vick story unless you've been living under a rock, you know. But um, he um, went to prison for um, federal dog fighting charges, um, and he was released. And basically, from what I understand, there was only six teams in the NFL that was even interested in signing him. Um, and he's also in debt, too. So him getting with another team um, is good. And one of the main reasons um, I'm happy about this is because I really do believe this man is sorry for what he done. I think that um, he paid his debt. Um, he realizes that he made a big mistake. And, you know, he's not making any excuses and he's, he's taking action, taking responsibility um, for what he done. So because of that, I think he deserves another chance. But anyway, um, too many of us are, you know, making mistakes and instead of fessing up and admitting to these mistakes, we're figuring out ways to put them on other people or fig coming up with ways um, not to put the blame on ourselves. First of all, we all know that we're all human. None of us are perfect, and we all make mistakes, all of us. Um, part of growing as a person and becoming a better person is learning from your mistakes, accepting responsibility for the things you do that are wrong, and trying to grow from it and basically not make those mistakes again. Um, I know people that are like this. And I'm pretty sure at one point or another, all of us are guilty of, of this, you know. Um, you know, when, when you make a mistake, you know, be man or woman enough to say, I'm in the wrong, I accept responsibility, and basically say that you're sorry, you know. Because saying you're sorry goes a long way, you know. Saying it and really meaning it, you know. It goes a long way because, you know, I'm dealing with, you know, some, some trust issues with people right now, you know. People that um I'm I'm close to or friends with, um, I've caught them in lies, you know, and and you know, I'm not gonna be naive and say that, you know, nobody lies. I mean we all lie, you know. But it hurts even more, you know, when you catch somebody in a lie or you find out that somebody, you know, that you close to, you know, has been lying to you or been in doing something that, you know, that you've been in the dark about, you know, it hurts even more. Um, I don't know why people choose to do that because a lot of times what you do in the dark, it definitely comes to the light. And, um, you know, it you hurt people more when, you, when you're not honest with them, you know. It's best to be honest with people up front, you know, um, this is something that um, I think that us as a, as a whole need to, need to try to work on and, and try to practice, you know, but, uh, you know, when, when, when you do make a mistake, you know, a lot of times, because I'm, I'm a pretty simple person, you know, as far as, you know, if, if 
somebody wrongs me, a lot of times, depending on, you know, depending on what it is, of course, a lot of times, if you apologize and you're really sincere about it, you know, I can forgive you, you know. But, you know, when, when you lie and you, and you don't want to step up and admit that you was wrong, you know, I think those are sometimes grounds for, like, you know, termination of a friendship or relationship. I mean, I guess in a way it's kind of like getting cheated on. You know, if someone cheats on you, it hurts. But it probably hurts you even more if you come home and you catch the person doing it, you know. So I think we all need to need to start being more honest with our friends and our family and those that we love and care about because um, honesty goes a long way. And, you know, your name will take you further than anything in this world. You know, if you were known for being an honest person or a decent stand-up person, that'll take you a long way, you know. And, and when you're dead and gone, people will still talk about, you know, what kind of person you were. It definitely goes a long way. So, um, yeah, in this video, I just want to say, you know, everybody out there, when you make a mistake or if you hurt somebody or whatever the case, be man or woman enough to say that you were wrong. And if you're really sincere, apologize and take responsibility for your actions before it's too late. So, yeah, I just want to um, touch up on that in this video right here. I'm about to get ready, get back to watching this game. Hope everybody out there has a good night, and I hope um, this video um, touches or inspires whoever watches it. So this is Brad H., a.k.a. Prospect Boy, signing out. Y'all have a good one. Peace.